And breaking tonight, within the last hour, we got our hands on the executive order lifting visitation restrictions at nursing homes and other long-term care facilities. Now we are asking how some local facilities plan to handle the changes nearly six months after being put on lockdown. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us live in Winter Garden tonight with a look at how one facility is preparing for this. Nikki. Well, Lisa, with the governor lifting the ban late tonight, this means assisted living facilities and nursing homes can now start accepting visitors with restrictions in place. And officials at this facility here just behind me say they've been prepared for weeks. Joy Smith welcomes the long awaited news. It's been really hard. I'm trying not to get emotional. Governor DeSantis announcing the time has come to safely reunite families in nursing homes and assisted living facilities by lifting the state's ban. It's been 100. 75 days. These people haven't been able to hug at your hand, have a, have a back rub. Smith says she has been barred from seeing her 90 year old mother due to COVID 19. I'm just so overjoyed with. Officials with Sonata Senior Living in Orlando say they are in position to receive guests once again. As long as our families understand that there are going to be restrictions, screenings will continue, temperatures will continue to be taken, masks must be worn. It's a reunion Elaine Wadler says her mother desperately needs. I'm sorry, I get very emotional when I talk about her. At 101 years old, she is not sick, she has dementia. Wadler saying months of isolation has caused loneliness. I can't wait to get back in to see her. So we're going to have to work together with our families and they're going to have to understand that this is a phased approach, but we look forward to doing so and we feel that we can safely do this. Now essential visitors will be able to hug and touch. However, general visitors will not have clearance to touch. However, they can still visit. Plus, None of these facilities can have any COVID-19 positive cases in the past two weeks. Now, officials at this facility tell me they even have an app that allows families to pre-schedule appointments when ready. For now, I'm live in Winter Garden, Nikki Zizaza getting results. News 6. Nikki, thank you.